Hi guys, it's Kathy here. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get started today, I just wanted to let everybody know that I've been in touch with Lynn and Wayne from Homestead Oz and they currently have uh, uh, three fires surrounding their property and Lynn and the dogs have been evacuated to safer um, ground nearby to her son-in-law's property and Wayne has stayed to protect the property from ember attack. Now he's, he's at the river, so he's safe, he's got firefighting experience and he knows what he's doing. So everyone, if you can just keep them in your thoughts and prayers and as soon as I get another update, I'll let you know. But if you wanna have a look at the fires before, um, from the last couple of days, go to their page. I'll put a link and you can have a look and see how horrific they are. Okay guys, see you soon. We're out and about for a drive today and we've stopped at this little town and it's called Meredith and there's just a, a marker here that we stopped at which is marking the site of the original primary school. There's not much left here but there's some beautiful Aussie bush and I'll let you hear some of the sounds of the beautiful birds here it was just too pretty not to stop and take a look at I'll just go for a walk through here it's got Millie there with us today you can hear all the birds up there Something beautiful about being in the Aussie bush. I could sit here for hours. I love it. I've walked through that bush and there's a bit of a clearing here, so I'm guessing this is where the actual school building was. And there's a big row of pine trees there. And I think down the back there, that looks like the old shelter shed. Every primary school, or they used to be called state schools back when I was a child, they all had a shelter shed, which was like a tin shed that had seating in it. And when it was raining, you got to go in there out of the rain, or you could just go in there and play. Or some of the naughty kids used to go in there and smoke. But this is all that's here now. It's just beautiful, it's so peaceful. And I think of how many little kids would have been running around here back in the day and playing and screaming and, and being happy and how far away they would have had to walk or ride their bikes or their horses to school here from the nearby farms. I just noticed too, you can see here that some of these trees are black. So I'm guessing that there must have been a fire through here 
a while ago too. There's Tim in the background there reading the plaque and there's another tree there that has got a lot of burnt wood on it. So I'm not sure how long ago the fires went through here but it is a very fire prone area and this is nearby to where the big bushfire was last week. We've actually just come back from there and had a look. I couldn't stop and take any um, any footage of where it was because it was right next to farmland and there was people out there and I just didn't want to look really disrespectful taking footage of their burnt farmland while they were out there and it had limited access to the area so uh, I thought I'd stop here instead on the way back and just show you some of the beautiful Aussie bush and some history as well. Hi again guys. If you look behind me there in those plastic bags on the table there you can see some chickens that are just about to go into my freezer. Now we're lucky enough here in Geelong where I live to have a chicken shop that often has specials on free range chickens and my friend was there today and she gave me a call and said hey do you want some and of course I said yes because I really don't like to pay expensive prices for, for good food if I can, but I'm willing to pay it to farmers that raise and do the chickens on their, on their own land and they've had to put in a lot of money and time for them and you do get a far superior product. So, but these ones here are from a local free range farm and they were really super cheap. So I'll give you a look at them and show you how I store them. Okay, so these are quite big chickens. They were very good price and I've just double bagged them there in freezer bags and written the date on them and they're going to go in the freezer and I've got a couple that I've left out that I'm going to cook now. So that is one of the ways that I save money for us. We have a, a bunch of us that go shopping and if we see things in bulk or that are really good quality food at a good price. We share it around like, as they say here in Australia, the Bush Telegraph, and we all get onto it. And whoever is there will buy the lot and will share it between us. And it's a fabulous way to save money. I'm just about to roast two of those chickens. And I just want to show you a little secret that I do when I'm stuffing the chickens for a quick and easy stuffing. So what I do here is I just stuff the cavity with a bit of sweet potato. Now you could leave the skin on that if you knew where your sweet potatoes came from, but these ones I'm not quite sure. So all I do is I peel a sweet potato or a normal potato and if I haven't got that I'll use a lemon. I'll put a couple of lemons up there and I'll just go out and pick some herbs and I'll come back and put those in there as well and then put the lid on and put them in the oven. And what this does, it helps the chicken to cook evenly all the way through. And you get a really nice sweet potato at the end and you can just, it's really, really soft and gooey and you can mash that up and have it like stuffing on your plate. I've just been out and picked some sage, bay leaves, kaffir lime and some oregano and I'm gonna put one each of those in with the potato in the chalk. Just a bit of oil on there, not too much. Just a bit to cover all of it. here I'll show you the first apricot harvest that we got and I'm going to try one to see what they taste like so hang on I'll just turn you around I'm just trying to find a spot to stand here where I haven't got the light reflecting on my glasses 
So this is the first apricot that I'm tasting off the tree. Mm. Oh. oh my goodness, it just squirted everywhere. It's mm. really nice, but I've got to go and clean up this mess. Beautiful. Everything's just so red outside tonight in the sky from the bushfire haze. Everything's glowing. It's like a pink glow over everything here. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it's just... As the sun sets here, the smoke haze from the bushfires is making everything pink. Mm. 